All right, so this is for Tuesday, October 17th, I believe. Yeah, Tuesday, October 17th, math homework. Let's get through it. All right, so number one. The number lines show eighths. This is the denominator represented by the, this is where they say the eighths and twelfths. And this is the other denominator of the other number line. So that's what that refers to. So the number lines show eighths and twelfths. So these are all divided by sections, eighths and twelfths. Again, the denominator is what we're talking about, denominator. Now let's read the questions. What do the number lines show? 5 eighths is equivalent to 12 six. So basically, we're just lining up the lines. See this? Whoops. So they're just lining up the lines. 5 eighths is equivalent to 6 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eighths is equivalent to 6 12. So 1, 2, 3, whoops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 6 12. So 5 eighths, do they look equal? No, they're not even close to the same line. Not the answer. Press down and out. That 6 eighths is equivalent to 9 twelfths. So this is 6 eighths, right? Is equivalent to 9 twelfths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 9 twelfths. Line, pretty lined up to me. This is the answer. We'll go through the right one just, just to be sure. 1 eighth is equivalent to 2 twelfths. This is 1 eighth. 1, this is 2 twelfths. They're close, but not quite. Not the answer. And the last one. 7 eighths is equivalent to 11 twelfths. So this is 7 eighths, so you can see 6. Whoops. 7 eighths, this is 11 twelfths. You see 12, 12, 11 twelfths. So, nope, not the answer. So again, B is the answer, because again, 6 eighths here is equivalent to 9 twelfths. That's our answer, B. Easy peasy, on to number two. Okay, this is number two, the question. Shelly has four different lengths of hair clips. She wants to wear a clip with a length equivalent to 14 over 16 inch. Which length clip should Shelly choose? So now we're gonna look over the answers, right? First, we're gonna, we're gonna analyze this right here. So this is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is 16 over 16, which is equivalent to 1, which is a given us our 1 inch. So they just, they just divided 1 inch into 16 parts. The number they want us to reach is 14 over 16. So 14 of these 16 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is 14. So you want to find something equivalent to this, right? Now, we're going to analyze the answers, okay? 3 over 4, all right? So we're, in order to get this equal to, this, to that, if I find it as close to that, we're going to divide this 1 inch into 4 parts. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then again, a 4 over 4 equals 1. This might sound a little confusing. You may have to watch the video again. But this is basically what we're trying to find out for this one right here, okay? So 1, 2, this is 3 over 4. Close, but not quite. See, this is, this is the number we're looking for. This is the number we, they gave us for F, so that's not the answer. Because 3 over 4 does not equal 14 over 16. Now we're going to do this one, 6 over 8. In order to do that, we have to divide 1 inch into 8 pieces. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight. So this is eight pieces. And again, we know eight over eight equals one. This is, we're just, again, we're just dividing the one inch into eight pieces so we can count this one. All right, so now one, two, three, four, five, 
this is 6 over 8. Okay, this is the number we're looking for. This is the number, we, this is the number they gave us for answer G. That's not the answer because 6 over 8 is here. 14 over 16 is right there. So that's not the answer we're looking for. Since we've already divided it into 8 pieces, We are we are only we're, we can use the same division same same parts for letter number H for answer number H so seven H so instead of counting six H we're going to count seven one two three four five six seven this is seven over eight it lines up exactly with fourteen over sixteen which is the same it was, again the question is she wants to uh, she wants to wear a clip with a length equivalent to fourteen this is the same equivalent means the same thing equal to 7 over 8, because we can see this is 7 over 8 right here. 14 over 16, that's, that's what that, we want something equal to that. This is our answer, right? And just to be sure, we're going to do number, we're going to do that, we're going to do answer H, just to make sure we got that correct. This is 14. So one half, we're going to divide 1 inch into 2 pieces. 1, 2. This is 1 half. This is not the answer, because 1 half is here, 14, 16 over there is over there not the answer so this is our answer right here this is a little confusing but you may need to watch this video again just to understand this all right this is number two this is number three question carlos worked with equivalent fractions in his math class he discovered that one third one third is equivalent to four twelve which is the same thing as saying equal to four over twelve what is one way Carlos may have this might have determined this? He added the numerator and the denominator. Well, okay, this is already wrong because you never add the numer. This, this is the numerator. This is the denominator. In no math do you ever add the, the numerator and the de denominator to find the answer. That's that is absolutely wrong. You never add the top number with the bottom one. That's just not math. That's something that someone thought up that should confuse you not the answer. You never ever add the numerator with the denominator to get an answer. That's just never going to work. So that's a rule of thumb. Always remember that. <clears throat> he multiplied 4 times 1, 4 times 1, and 6 times 2. What is the, Where does the 6 even come from? That's not, no. The, no and the 6 doesn't even exist in this equation. This is, there's no 6 here. So that's not the answer. Not the answer. Go to C. Move this down a little bit. 1 over 3 equals 4 over 12. C. <clears throat> he multiplied the numerator and the denominator. This is, so this is the numerator and the denominator by 4. So basically what they're saying is 1 times 4 times. This is the numerator, denominator. They multiply them both by 4. So this is what it says. You multiply the numerator and the denominator in one third, one over three times four to find the equivalent fraction of four over twelve. This is exactly right. This is exactly what you want to do, right here. You anytime you change the you change the, the numerator, you have to do the same thing to the denominator. So in this case, they multiplied it by four, one over three. Well, one times four is four. Three times four is Three. I'll do that. I'll do do the math. Thing. Four times. Three, six, nine, twelve. That's four times, right? So three times four equals twelve. This is our answer. And just for just for sake of, of thoroughness, we're gonna do, we're gonna see if C, what they say for D. He divided the numerator of one over three by one. Okay, you can't. We just said this a second ago. You can't. If you're gonna do something to the numerator. The top number, you have to do it to the same thing to the denominator. You can't do one and then do, change it to something else. So this is saying he divided the numerator by one, by the one third by one, and the denominator by four. So he let, let, that just absolutely doesn't make any sense. Even if you were to do that, even if you were to do that, it wouldn't give you the answer. One divided, so one divided by one equals, yeah, you may or may not have learned this, equals one. And then and then I divided the denominator by four. So three divided by four. I don't know what it is. It's like point seven something. It might be point seven five. I'm not one hundred percent sure. But it's not. It's not four over twelve. So that's. This is wrong. That's absolutely wrong. That doesn't even make any sense. 
Again, we go back to C. This is the answer, C. All right. This is a little confusing, a little bit, um, maybe some new stuff you learn. If you have any questions, just read over the video or look over the video again. All right, thank you. <clears throat> On to number four. Question. Jackson regarded the first four multiples of five. Here we go, the first four multiples of five on a strip of paper in the first four multiples of six. See, this is a five, six. So the first four multiples, multiples means you multiply it times times uh, itself. You double it, basically. So five, 10, you go, you five times one, five times one is five, five times two is 10, five times three is 15, five times four, 20. So five, 10, 15, 20, that's, that's basically what that means. You do the same thing with number six. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, and 6 times 4 is 24. The way you know this is true is because you basically go 5 times 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 5 is 20, and then 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 6 is 18, and 18 plus 6 is 24. This is basic math, basic uh, multiplication. So now they're asking, here's the question. Based on this pattern, based on this pattern, which is the next fraction equivalent to five over six after twenty over twenty four? So basically, this is where they're coming. Where they're getting this. Five over six. This is this is the basic one, right? They're saying what is equivalent to this? Because these are all equivalent to each other. Five over six is the same as ten over twelve, which is the same as fifteen over eighteen, and twenty over twenty four. So basically, they're asking, what comes next here? So basically, just are going to add five to this top number this top one and six to this one. So we're going to get the next multiple. So five plus five is 10, 10 plus five is 15, 15 plus five is 20. What's 20 plus five? 25, that's right. Now we're going to do the same with the bottom one. Six plus six is 12, 12 plus six is 18, right? 18 plus 6 is 24, right? So what's 24 plus 6? That's right, 30. So this is our answer. This is what they're asking. Said, what is it? These are all equivalent. 5 over 6 is equivalent to all these numbers going going this way to the right. This is the next next one in sequence. 25 over 30. This is our answer. This is the answer we're looking for. Based on this pattern, what is the next fraction equivalent to 5 over 6, which comes after this one, which comes after this one, 20 over 24. See, this is 20 over 24. So this is, these are all equivalent to what's next here. We've already figured that out. So this is our answer right here, 25 over 30. Which one is that? Nope. Nope. That's right, nope. Ding, 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 ding. This is our answer, yes. J. All right, you figured it out. Good job, guys. All right. That's, that's number four on Monday's homework. All right, thank you.